Hello dancers and welcome to day three of our Corona Quarantine Daily Vlog. Teacher Joel here and we are going to talk today about lowering. More specifically about lowering in the waltz whenever we finish closing our feet. An example of that would be at the end of our natural turns or at the end of our reverse turns. Let's get to it. So here I am as a lead up on my toes closing my feet at the end of step number three. I'm about to go backwards for instance into another four, five, six of a natural turn. I'll make sure that my weight is firmly over my right foot now. And as I start to lower and bring my heel, my right heel towards the ground, one thing I want you to notice is that that left toe already starts to peek out and prepare backwards. Yeah, so it's not going to be feet together. I lower, keep the feet together. And at a later point, I bring the foot out. That would be too late of a preparation for my left leg or my free leg. I want to make sure that right when I start to lower, whether it's one millimeter of lowering, I already start to release that foot out. Second thing I'd like you to notice, as my heel starts to lower and come closer to the ground, my right knee starts to bend already. One thing that a lot of people will do is they'll put the heel down with a straight leg and only after they put the heel down, the knee starts to bend. And this is going to be um, a little bit of a wrong um, process of lowering. What I want you to be able to do is as you start to lower that heel, we already also start to bend that standing knee. One way of um, checking this is to take a, something like a foam roller or you can do this up close to a wall. You can take your feet and place them a couple centimeters away from the edge of the wall or the edge of the foam roller. Up you go, find your balance, and as you lower, and before that right heel touches the ground, I want your right knee to kiss and touch that foam roller. That's going to signify and give you that feedback that you're actually bending the knee. If I did this, and I feel the heel come down onto the ground and I don't feel my knee touching the foam roller, I know that I have an incorrect sequence of events. This will be the same thing if I'm going forwards as well, and I'm gonna demonstrate that as a follow. As I go up and close my right foot to my left, sorry, my left foot to my right foot, then transfer my weight onto my left foot, and here I start to lower. Notice how my knee will touch that foam roller before my left heel touches the ground. Boom, there we go. Also notice when I'm going forwards that my right foot also starts to prepare. But please notice that my preparation forwards is a lot smaller than when I prepared backwards. We don't want to have that same amount of preparation, especially when we're going forwards. We want to take our time preparing it just a little bit forwards and later in the leg action, um, bring it out a little bit more forwards. One more thing that I want you guys to understand when you're lowering is where is your weight as you're lowering? So here I am again as a lead. I'm on the ball of my right foot, and as I lower, I'm still on my ball of my right foot, but as my heel comes closer to the ground, I will start to bring my weight closer to the mid part of my foot. I don't want to put the heel down and have my weight all the way to the heel just yet. That would be too early for me to pull backwards and then transfer my weight, um, because that will now make me gap away from my partner who's preparing to go forwards. As I go forwards as a lady and I lower as well, I don't want to lower directly to that heel as well. I want to feel like I'm lowering more to the middle of the foot before I really start to put weight in towards the heel and then transition out and forwards in the next phase of the leg action. Um, another way of just practicing this is to be able to do it on two feet. I know it is quite tricky when we are balancing on one foot. And so start by having feet apart. You can start with your feet up and then lowering and already starting to feel the knees bending, heel come down, and finally getting into a nice solid compressed state. I'll show that to you in this angle. So here I am on two feet. I'm starting to lower, my knees are bending. My heels are finally touching the ground and I'm feeling quite solid on two feet. So try that first before you transition into a one-footed action. Later on in other videos, we'll talk more specifically about later phases in the leg action. But for now, 
that's all we've got for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys are um, staying busy and healthy and active at home or wherever you are. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. We'd love to hear from you and get your feedback so that already helps us uh, determine what other content you want us to do um, here on the daily vlog. That's it for now. Thank you very much. Remember to like and subscribe or wherever that is, and I'll see you tomorrow.